Welcome to Breaking Stereotypes and happy 4th of July. This 4th of July is a great day. Every 4th of July is because as Christians, we celebrate not only our wonderful dependence upon God, but also the wonderful celebration of this great land that was founded on people wanting to find freedom and the freedom to worship God the way they want that they wanted to worship God. John Hancock, which we get the expression, hey, put your Hancock on a signature, because when John Hancock signed the Declaration of Independence, you'll notice if you've ever seen a copy of it, there's one particular signature that's really big. It's John Hancock's, because he wanted to make no mistake that King George couldn't miss his signature. I mean, he was full of vinegar, I tell you. He said this, resistance to tyranny becomes the Christian and social duty of each individual. Continue steadfast and with a proper sense of your dependence on God. Nobly defend those rights which heaven gave and no man ought to take from us. That phrase, which heaven gave, all of our founding fathers kept referring to this idea that God was the creator. You have to remember, down through history, it was the kings the great kings of all of history that you read, these kings thought that they derived power from God, that God gave the kings the authority to rule, and these kings would benevolently dish out and hand out responsibilities or blessings to the people. America was the first time, the first place, where basically they're realizing, no, God has given every man these unalienable rights for life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness. God has given them to us. We're not going to let a man rule over us. So what we do is, in America, it is the greatest foundation of a political system ever. We realize that these things come from God. And then what we do is we hire people to make sure they are our servants. They serve us to make sure that we get what we want to have done. They're called politicians, congressmen, politi statesmen. Um, that's what these politicians are. They are supposed to be our servants. You know, if you and I ever forget that, which I think we often do, um, we become in trouble. These people have power and authority only because we give it to them. Let me read just the beginning and a little bit of historical facts between about the Declaration of Independence. The Declaration of Independence, obviously we all know, was adopted by Congress, the Second Continental Congress of July 4th, 1776. It was publicly announced to the world and King George got a copy. And where the American colonies declared themselves free and independent states, absolved from any allegiance to Great Britain. This was a bold move, but that's a history lesson of another time. It was 11 years later, and four years after American victory from the War of Independence, that a small group of delegates convened in Philadelphia to create a new constitution for governing the new nation. Jefferson, Jefferson described it as an assembly of demigods, demigods. Not only were there leaders in the fight for independence, such as Roger Sherman, John Dickinson, and leading thinkers just coming into the prominence, such as James Madison, Alexander Hamilton, and Governor Morris, but also legendary figures such as Benjamin Franklin, George Washington. John Adams declared the three-and-a-half-month convention, quote, the greatest single effort, national deliberation, deliberation that the world has ever seen. Meeting in what is now Independence Hall from May 25th to September 17th, 1787, they sought to form a more, more perfect union and establish a government that would secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and to our children, our, pros, our posterity. Their challenge was to create the institutional arrangements for limiting power, securing the rights promised in the Declaration of Independence, while preserving a Republican form of government that reflected the consent of the governed. Tell you what, on this great 4th of July, I hope and pray that we all just give God thanks that we were born in this great land of America, but also we would do our very best to preserve the sacred responsibility that we have to preserve it for others. 
don't get me going. There are a lot of Christians that think that, oh, I'm not going to talk about anything to do with anything but just the gospel of Jesus. You cannot read the gospel of Jesus without hearing him tell parables, stories, talking about how we interfere and we need to interact, we need to influence the effects of society on people. Whenever there's injustice, we need to speak up. Whenever there's something that's happening that's immoral, we need to speak up. We in America have that great privilege and that great responsibility. Happy Fourth of July.